Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel. This is Luca Torreggiani, and today we're going to talk about unbalanced one sided relationship from Lincoln Center. And behind me, you can see there's a very unbalanced situation. <laughs> um, so, my friendships are very important in my life. I, uh, they define me, they make me a better person, and you know. Some of them are closer, some people are closer than others, but most of them uh, in, in those relationships, I show up with a lot of open-heartedness and generosity. And my friends do the same. And so it was a little bit of a surprise for me that I just realized that I had been in a very one-sided relationship with a friend of mine. And the reason why I realized that is that, you know, I was I'm going through a lot of stuff, as you know, and uh, all of a sudden, I really stopped talking to them. And as soon as I stopped talking to them, they didn't reach out. They kind of ghosted me. And I was surprised that it took me a long time to realize that I was in a one-sided relationship. And I think the reason why that's the case is because I really like them. And it took me a long time to see the reality. And, you know, you'll, you'll say to me, well, of course, you know, relationships have their own ebbs and flows and the balance of friendship and to giving and taking, you know, it, it, it can change a lot depending on what people are going through. But here are a, some three points of clear signs of, that you are stuck in a one-sided relationship like mine. <laughs> First of all, it's really all about them right so when you call them or we hang with them they're always going through some sort of drama that they need to talk to you about that that you need to listen to and uh, you are not asked how are you doing you know you're, you're not part of the equation um, also the second sign is that really uh, they are not reliable when you give, you give, you give, and when it's time for you to receive, they're not there. They don't show up, they cancel plans, or they're just not there. And the third one is that somehow they're always looking for something. They always need something. It's a favor, money, or I don't know, just your ears so you can, they can tell you what's going on with them. <laughs> People easily say when you realize that you are in a relationship and you are, you know, taking advantage of, maybe it's easy to just cut, cut them out of your life, right? But things are not that easy. Um, and so the only advice that I'm giving to myself and I am giving to you in this case is you can take a step back. You can take a beat and take your distance, create some boundaries, some healthy boundaries, so you're taking care of yourself and you can figure out what to do next. And that's what I'm doing. And I'm sure that I'll, when I'll figure out what to do next, I'll let you know on this channel. But I'm gonna leave you with one thought. Never feel guilty to ask for the same kind of support that you provide in a friendship. Never feel guilty about that. Ciao for now, please subscribe and comment and I'll talk to you later.